Hello! Welcome. Back to my channel. Welcome to a new era of my channel. Where I stop being afraid of actually making content on it. And I pump out some of the good stuff! It's me, your boy, Labrizzi. And I don't have an official intro yet. Although I do feel like I have an, an official outro that I would like to talk about. People who follow my Twitch will already know. For a long time, I've been dealing with some dude who has a fake email similar to mine. And uh, I will put the email that he sends people on screen. I don't know how often it's worked. But I have had many messages from different devs being like, Is this you? And I have to be like, No. I did not wish you a wonderful pizza day. Although I am a wonderful pizza person. Um, but I feel like it's just perfect. Have yourself a wonderful pizza day. I'm keeping that. That's mine now. Fuck that guy. He wants to steal codes and pretend to be me? Well, I'm going to steal Have a Wonderful Pizza Day. It's great. Welcome. This is the Cycle Frontier. I've been playing it far too much. Um, I mean, you'd think I've been playing it far too much, I'd be better at it, but here I am with no good armor or uh, backpacks currently. But that's going to be the point of this series. I'm going to drop in, I'm going to farm stuff, and we're just going to have a good old time. I think the biggest thing is the fact that I don't have any pressure from chat. It's just me, and that's it. And I could go at my own pace. I'm not even in game right now. I don't care about the gameplay. I mean, I do care about the gameplay. I want it to be good. Hopefully I don't, you know, suck today. But I'm excited to get in there. And we could just have a nice conversation. Welcome back to YouTube. I had a shocking revelation yesterday, which is why haven't I just been doing this the whole time? I mean, I know the answer. Uh, and the answer is unfortunate. The answer is that I was, for the longest time, afraid to post on this YouTube channel. Because originally, it was all about League of Legends here. And uh, I started to change as a content creator. And I was afraid that people would be mad, I guess. But then I did something worse than change my YouTube content with me. I just dropped it right on its ass. And I feel like this is the next step in my content here on YouTube, which is pretty much exactly the same thing I've been doing on Twitch anyway, but here, and it's unique. It's for YouTube. So shit, man. I mean, the only difference is that I'm not on camera. People aren't spamming bark farts. You might not even know what that means. Um, I'm not sure if I want to be on camera just yet. I mean, I'm still using OBS to record. Hello. But, oh, wrong one. See, I clicked the wrong one already. Expect that. But, I don't know yet. Let me know. Do you like this one better? Do you think I should be here? I'm honestly not entirely sure, to be honest with you. I mean, I just, I get to be comfortable. I can record naked if I feel like it. I put on close today for this exact reason so I could, you know, compare. Hopefully I don't sound like shit. I have the air conditioner on in the background because it's giga hot all the time up here. Um, but hopefully I, it should be fine. It's the same as my stream one, but I'm very, I'm very anal about my audio. So I might hear like a uh, for like one second and be like, it's ruined. All right, I'm back. That's another great thing about being able to just record like this. If something goes wrong or if I think something goes wrong, I can just stop and hit a little whoop and just do a little cut movie magic and you'll never know. But this time I will, you know, explain. It was kind of sudden, but I asked myself. What do I sound like right now? I mean, I was just talking about the audio and I wanted to make sure that I don't sound like garbage. So I canceled the record. Oh, I didn't cancel. I stopped the recording. And then I listened to it back. There's still a couple fine tuning that I could probably do. Again, I don't remember if I cut before or after I said this, but I am very anal about these things. I want to sound good. All right. That's so important to me. I want it to look good. I want it to sound good. And ideally, I want it to be funny, 
but that's, you know, balls in my court on that one. But welcome. Uh, you know, we're, we're not just jumping straight into the game fresh. I've been playing at least a little bit. The best way I could explain this game, and you'll see if it's your first time watching it, it's it's pretty much Escape from Tarkov if Tarkov wanted you to enjoy yourself. That's how I've been explaining it to people. Uh, we're about to hop right on in. I got myself some ammo, some boom booms. We're going to drop in solo. You can drop in with up to three people. My armor and backpack are shit right now because I have to craft better things. Let's go check what it takes to craft things like that. So you drop into the world. There's two maps right now. Uh, I like to call these types of games like instant space shooters. You drop in on an instance of the game with other players. Players are coming and going constantly within the map. And uh, there's PvP aspects, obviously. There's PvE aspects. Everyone's coming in trying to do different quests. Anyone could be on any kind of quest. Someone could be doing this job right now. Someone could be doing this. We might find each other at the power plant. You can use uh, diplomacy. You can talk to people in game. Maybe be like, hey, man, I just we got the same quest. Let's leave each other alone. Or you could slaughter one another and, you know, take all their shit. Currently, I want to print myself some bigger backpacks, but I need polymetallic prefabricate. Turns out you need a bunch of that shit for a bunch of different things. Um, don't worry about these. We're not going to be crafting these anytime soon. I do need print resins for a couple things, but smart mesh is hard to find, and I feel like it would be wasteful. So hopefully, I can just find one of these bad boys somewhere, because I need a couple. But without further ado, let's get on in there. I'm going to insure my stuff. So at least if I die, I can get some of it back. And let's get on in there. But I'm very excited to do series like this. It's not going to just be the cycle. Ideally, I am releasing this and at least one more episode for day one. I want to let it be known that I can play anything and everything here. I'm letting go of being scared. What am I afraid of? I had, I had at a point, like 60,000 subscribers here. And then I was like, hey, you know what? Fuck them. I didn't say that. It was more like, I don't want to disappoint them, and then the pressure of disappointing them just kept building and building to the point where I was just terrified to do anything because I assumed that people would like just hate it. So yeah, I was really healthy. But this is the first map. We have two extracts. It's always random where you drop. It's always random where your extracts are. And we have a couple things to do. I'm just going to go looting. I should hit up base camp, see if I can finish this little job. Jobs are like repeatable quest for rep. What else do I need? I need meteor fragment, so if a meteor storm happens, we can go and do that. Ooh, someone just dropped down. Let's potentially murder them. Hello. Where'd that boy go? There he is. But if you have been watching the stream at all, then you know that uh, I'm absolutely head over heels in love with this game currently. I'm having a great time with it. Another thing you'll notice if you watch on uh, Twitch is that the game looks way more like shit <laughs> on Twitch than on YouTube. And that's because Twitch is uh, kind of lame about their max bitrate. Oh my god. Alright, we got boys landing everywhere. So, I am at 6k bitrate when I'm streaming, and here, I'm at a cool 18,000 bitrate, which is a little bit better, huh? But anything over 6k, I feel like they get mad about it. I wish I could just stream at 18,000. I don't know if my graphics card would explode. Truth be told, I don't know how that works. But surely it looks way better now. Something I learned in this game pretty quickly is walking is OP. You have stam, you know? If you get into a firefight and you're at half stam or even lower, you might be just fucked right out the gate. I'm allowed to say fuck, right? Or is YouTube mean about that? Well, let's get one thing straight. I have, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to monetize over here. I'm not going to change my content to accommodate things like that. Although, I don't know if that fucks me on the algorithm. You know, 
people are don't even get my videos because I like to say the F worried. I don't know. But the only thing I will say, I'll probably say it at least often in the beginning. If you enjoy this, if you want more, just let me know. And if you want to support, subscribe on Twitch. It's your best bet. I mean, I stream there five, five days a week. Minimum. It was six for the longest time. Shit, it was seven for a while. But currently, five days a week, and then I want to dedicate a day to recording. I feel like that works out perfectly. So we're heading on over to Water Facility currently. I don't plan on extracting, but we'll play it by ear. That's the lovely thing about this game. You can kind of just play it all by ear. I, I, I landed. I know I need a bunch of shit. Maybe we kill someone and they have all the stuff we need. And then once we kill someone and, then we, and they have all the stuff we need, we can just leave. Maybe we have a good haul here. We'll see what we find. It's really all up in the air. I do really need that prefabricated stuff, though, because I want to be able to make bigger backpacks. This backpack is fucking pathetic. Half of it's already dedicated to just, like, the build I'm bringing in. It's no good. I need way more weight so I can hold way more stuff. It's a pretty good indicator that no one's been here if there's, you know, at least doggies running around. If you find corpses, that could be a little bit more telling. I have so many spinal bases. That might be the one thing I don't feel like picking up right now. I just already have so many. Oh, I think that guy's angry at me. Okay. Let's see. Ideally, don't I have don't he kills it? Yeah, it kills at base camp. Let's just head over to base camp. Good looty there too. We all good here? Oh shit. Typically, you'll find people running around with sniper rifles, but I feel like I want to be up close and personal and inside locations like base camp. I got a 2x on this bad boy. I think that'll be good enough. The man's core is pretty sweet. Uh, you know, it feels so refreshing immediately to be doing this. It's really something that I should have been doing for a long time. But again, I was just too afraid. Afraid of disappointing people. And then I guess I ultimately disappointed them anyway by just not making anything. How you doing? Pretty good, man. Not my best showing of all time. Something tells me he backed off as well, though. It's a shame I had to jump on him. Uh-oh. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing. That we disengaged. Oh. I just killed him. That's what the red marker was. There's a boy above me. Good eye. Well, good ear. Excuse me. He heard me healing. I should have disengaged and ran way farther. Let me confirm that I killed that boy. Son of a bitch, I did. I did kill that guy. I killed him. He lit me up. And then this guy found me and lit me up. I should have jumped down. Oh well. That's kind of how the cookie crumbles in a game like this, you know? So I'm not too upset about it. I, I feel like the biggest inspiration for this series, which is just me playing a game and talking, derives from the old leak content anyway. When I was doing that like ranked series. I'm just so much better at it now. At least the talking part. Alright? I'm not going to say I'm as good at this game as I was at League, because 
I mean, you literally just saw with your own eyes. That's not true. But I can do this with any game. Every game. Whatever I feel like playing. So that's lovely. Alright, let's get another load out there. I am going to bring a bolt action with me this time. I think we're going to go bolt action manticore. That's the good shit. Bolt action's pretty sweet. I need another backpack though. And like I said, I have no prefabricate because I'm a noob and I spent it all on quests. That's one thing in this game. Big pitfall. Alright. Sometimes there'll be quests. Or not a quest. Uh, a job. You don't need to do the jobs. I mean, you don't need to do the quest. You should do the quest. But there might be a job that it's like, hey, partner, can I just have like a rare data drive? Well, guess what, Marie Gilbert Ravel? Fuck you. No, you can't have a rare data drive because I might need that to like for a quest, for an actual quest to progress or like a base upgrade. Hello, Prospector. So I will not be giving you that. I need to be finding myself some more fusion batteries. Uh, base camp kills. See you again soon. Would be lovely. I just gotta buy a small backpack. We unfortunately. We profit from this, I assure you. Um, aside from fees and taxes. Ah, that you must think she's so right funny. Here. You put that to good use. I'm just gonna get my build okay. together real quickly. One of these bad boys. I don't need one of those for the Manticore. Let's get some ammo. I, I already have heavy need. ammo. I see a straw. Anything else I need right now? I could buy these types of things, but they expensive. And I feel like the Manticore gets the job done pretty well. I mean, the guy who mowed my ass down, I believe he had a Manticore. Oh, wait, I forgot to buy armor. Can you buy armor here? You know what? I've been considering going the tactical stuff when I play solo, because it increases my stam. But, I, you know, just walk around. Originally, this was going to be a tutorial video for this game. Like, that was the natural progression of, like, do I want to make YouTube content again? And I remember, you know what, I'll just use the green helmet. I remember writing a script several times. This this was a, this was process has happened many times over the years. Uh, I don't mind admitting it at this point. It's just kind of silly. But I was like, I'm going to make YouTube videos again. And then I would write this absolutely massive script. And then I would look at the script and be like, I don't have time for this. Uh, or I don't know. Or I would talk myself out of it because I didn't think it was very good. Yada, yada, yada. That's That's been pretty much the uh, the rinse and repeat for a long time, unfortunately. Just talking myself use. out of it. Okay. Convincing myself that uh, either good. nobody would watch it or that I had nothing good to say. I don't know. I see a mate. It was just one, really, it was just one excuse after another. I know that's not, I'm not being nice to myself about that, but it's pretty much, I was just making excuses. I love doing this. I do it for a living. I stream full time. Wow, we have a lot of things to catch up on, by the way. I feel like if you're still here, first off, thank you for giving it a shot. But secondly... Yeah, we have a lot to catch up on, huh? It's kind of been a very long time. I like to think immediately, right out the gate, with all of the Twitch streaming that I've done in my life, in my career as a content creator thus far. I'm way better at speaking now. Hopefully I sound sexier, more composed. I went back and I listened to one of those Legan with Labrizzi videos, and man, if, if, if I could have an audience there, then dang it, I could have an audience now. <laughs> I think the biggest thing to go over is why I ended up to... Ooh, we landed in the jungle. Oh, shit. Good. I want to farm. I want to creep around the jungle and farm. The biggest thing I want to go over, as far as uh, where I've been, it's not like I haven't been doing any content at all. Yo, what is happening? Uh, meteor shower. I would love to pursue that, but a little far away, and I kind of want to peep around the jungle. All right. As I was saying, it's not like I haven't been making any content. I've been making, like, thousands of hours of content. It's just on Twitch. And I feel like it's time for me to finally uh, branch out again. Oh, boy. Hey, big man. Let's go this way. I don't really feel like fighting that. I know I, I got it in me to fight him. 
I got the ammo for it, I guess. But it's just wasteful, and it draws attention. And I want to be a sneaky beaky boy, and I want to get some loot. So what we'll probably do is head over to the crash ship and see what we can find in there. I was on Twitch the whole time, doing pretty much exactly this, except talking to chat. I feel like I've gotten way better at talking it to myself, and hopefully this series proves that. I'm not entirely sure what games. I don't have a lineup yet. I know this game. I adore playing this game, as shit as I may be at it. I love playing this, so that's easily going to be a series for now. And I'll probably shoot for, you know, like half hour videos. But we'll see about that part. As far as formatting is concerned, I'm going to be a little loosey goosey about it. I just want to provide entertaining content. Let's get on in there. Ooh, I just found a thing. The hell was that? It showed up on my screen for like a millisecond. Hello? We saw that, right? Oh! Alright. I'm just going to shove that right up my ass. Kotec Multi-Tool. I have a lot of these. I haven't really found a use for them, but... This game is really good at uh, just making everything useful. At some point. So I have trust that we'll figure it out. Focus crystal, focus crystal. I have a lot of focus crystals too. They're pretty easy to come by, but they sell for a lot. Loot everything, by the way. If you want to get into this game, if I inspired you, first off, it's free to play. This game is free to play. Can you believe it? You can buy shit if you want, but by no means do you have to. I just found two manticores. Holy shit. Oh, you tanky bastard. He's gonna bite my butt. Oh shit. He's gonna bite my butt too. Ow. Tanky son of a bitch. Strider flesh, strider flesh. Unfortunately, he dropped strider flesh. Um, those tankier ones have a chance of dropping like rarer stuff. That's why they're so goddamn tanky. But no luck. Um, is that what I think it is? Oh! Mama. This is honestly more important than the, the multi-tool. <laughs> the most important. Pizza Deli. Hey, where did I put that med kit? I'm gonna use that bad boy real quick. Instead of just leaving it. Yeah, I highly recommend this game. And I'm trying so hard to get, like, partner with them. Because I think they're going to be doing Twitch drops soon. But unfortunately, I have not heard back yet. So, fingies crossed on that one. What do we got? Audio decoys. I don't give a hoot about them. Manticores are worth a fair bit. I, I mean, let's see what kind of loot we find here. Ideally, something better than Manticores. I can just buy those bad boys if I really, really need them. What the hell are you doing? See that? Just having a little scritchy scratch. Ooh, my neck is so itchy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, shit. Someone, like, just landed here. That's scary. He's probably going to see... The loot that I left behind. Let's see how far away that boy is. It sounded pretty close, but I feel like the audio in this game could be a little deceiving. I mean, there's still a bunch of wildlife that he has to get through. Hopefully that deters him, or hopefully it, uh, it all kills him. There's also a stash, which I'm pretty sure, like, anything can be in in that bad boy. Tactical foregrip. Bada bing. And a good healy. But yeah, this game is free to play, and I'm head over heels in love with it right now. So hopefully you enjoy this. And you say, more! Give me more! I'm still contemplating what... Ooh, nope. I got baited. This is just the regular Strider fresh, Flesh, but it looks like the white one. But that would be a rare, not an uncommon drop. 
Ooh. Come on. All right. You know what? I can buy manticores. Wait. Let's just drop these. Don't need them. We had the pleasure of landing in a pretty nice spot where you can get some pretty nice loot. But yeah, the difference, the biggest difference between the Twitch content and this is I, I feel like I can just play at my own pace, you know? I don't know why I'm always so caught up, like, oh, gotta get in, gotta get out. More, more, now, now, now. Where we can just hang out, baby. Kick back. This might actually be two videos, though. That's the... <laughs> That's, maybe you know what? Maybe this one will be a long one. Typically, I would like to shoot for a half hour, but we did that first run and it it, it ended pretty early because I stink. And then I feel like this one's going a little bit better. As long as we can extract, I should probably work towards extracting at this point. It's so easy to just drop in, fill your backpack up, and be like, okay, bye bye, and just leave. I mean, we already got some prefabricate, so that's a win. Oh, man. I honestly think they've done a great job making the... the enemies in this game actually intimidating. Except these things. This dude's an asshole. You... That's what I get. That's what I get. I deserve that. So typically, he would, you know, walk away from you and then spit at you and stuff, and it's easy to dodge. But every so often, he'll be like, you know what, pal? Heard you talking shit, and he smacked me. But the, the wildlife in this game will absolutely drop you on your ass if you're not uh, smart about navigating through it. And I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see. We need to go all the way down past the water facility. I may actually have a key to comms tower. Go give that a looky because if I do, that'd be pretty big. I can remember how to get in. Ooh, don't mind me, mister. All right, cool. Ah, poopy pistol. No, thank you. But as I was saying, I do foresee myself doing multiple games here. I want to say, unless something dramatic happens, this game is going to be pretty consistent, at least at first. I, I'm i really having a great time with this game, so I hope to be playing it quite a lot. I was trying to get in contact with them about partnering. Uh, what's that, radio equipment? No. Jacket. Yes. About partnering me uh, for the Twitch streams. That would be lovely. I'm not going to hold my breath. Because uh, surely they're getting blown up right now by many more people. Trying to get a, a piece of the pie, I guess. Am I in the wrong building? I feel like I'm in the wrong building here. Circuit boards. <sighs> I just need circuit boards another one. You think you don't need them anymore? I had like 20 something at a time and I was like, I don't need these things no more. And then I used them all. What else we got? Circuit boards. I know I don't need radio equipment currently, so I'm gonna skip out on that. Let's go hit up the other building really quick. I know that there is a place that you can use a key. He saw me. You know what? My bags are full anyway. In retrospect, who gives a hoot? But I do need to learn where that key card... Like, hold on. Let me... I believe it's Overseer. Nope. Bright Sands Observation. Bright Sands Observation. It might be this one. Nope, it's not that one. I know it's not that one. Server access. That's the one. 
is server access. Maybe it's in this room. I found this key recently. And I should figure out where I use it. Is it this one? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh shit, yeah, bud. All right. My first time in here alone. I've been playing with the homies, and they have this key, and they come on over here way quicker than I do, and they just slurp it up. Let's see. Let's preemptively drop this other manticore. Again, I can always buy them. These fucking nutrition bars are such a pain in the butt to uh, to find. So I am going to stick that right up my ass and hope it doesn't melt. Textiles, good stuff. More batteries. This is lovely. I love this. Um, I think I can use this floor grip on this guy. Alrighty. Throw these in the garbage. What else can we find here? Radio equipment. No. No. Maybe. Yes. Hmm. Alright. Unfortunately, just a common data drive. You can find higher rarity ones right out the gate. I believe that's everything in here. Works for me. I may actually take that manticore back. And then skedaddle. Although I forgot where I uh <laughs> where I dropped it. So uh big oops. But my bag is pretty full. I'm feeling pretty good. This would be a lovely place to extract. Where the hell did I put that manticore? This is gonna be another fun thing. Not having uh a live chat to tell me every single mistake I'm making. So I can do it myself. And then look at the comments afterwards and see all the mistakes I made. I'm just going to take all these circuit boards and stuff. Just top off my bag. Looks good to me, champ. Let's get out of here. Happy with the prefabricate that I found. Happy with the nutrition bar. Let's move it. Ooh, don't break my legs. I think we'll just go straight through the swamp and then hook down. Hmm. Similar to Hunt Showdown, those birds indicate that someone scared them. Now, they are like ginormous pussies, so it could have been me. But that felt... Hmm. Could have been someone else. And that's why we shouldn't sprint as much. I said it earlier. Originally, this video... Like, I was recording a bunch of video for a tutorial. I was going to do a tutorial for this game, like a beginner's guide, essentially. And as I was sitting here recording in silence, there were just, like, things in game happening that I felt like I should be talking over this. Either funny moments or, I don't know, I'm... I'm not the tutorial type, I guess. I, I feel like I have a lot to say. I mean, well, I, obviously I have a lot to say. I'm a white dude living in America. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, <laughs> listen to my opinions. I'm going to start a podcast. I'm sorry. I do feel like I have a lot to say. And I feel like I'm good at saying them, typically. But I'm not smart. <laughs> Oh my. Hey, he didn't blow up. That was weird. I'm not smart about games like this. I'm more of a monkey brain gamer, I like to call myself. I just let my monkey brain go. I feel like, especially roguelites, which you will see on this channel, absolutely. I excel in those. Because I can just let my monkey brain fly. But if you ask me to explain 
Okay. You know in grammar school, you would do your math homework, and they'd be like, no, this doesn't count. And I'd be like, why? It's the right answer. And they'd be like, you didn't show your work. That's me. Never good at showing my work. But I can do it. You know, sometimes you hear that. You heard that, right? The I don't know. Oh! Awesome. That's really cool. I heard the guy go. Ah, oh, it was two team. Or two team. It was two people. Shot my head off. Well, joke's on you, sucker. I got a prefabricate and a nutrition bar. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah, that kind of just happens sometimes. You're just going to get shot by Lil Joe and Scoobert Doobert. Should have been more aware of my surroundings. I got too comfortable. But, oh, well. That's going to do it for me on this episode. I hope you had a lovely time. This is a welcome back. For some, a welcome for most, I'd imagine, for a series like this. I'm not even going to tell you to like, favorite, and subscribe. You've already done it. I hope you have a... Oh, <laughs> I, I cracked on the first one. I hope you have a wonderful pizza day. Oh my god, he's a gamer. Back-to-back -back headshots? Who is he? God, no, wait, wait, stop. Why, stop. why, 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 why? There's a guy up top that just killed a guy, that just killed a buddy. Killed I your buddy? Duo. I'm I'm solo here, well, so you want are we doing this? Yeah, let's let's fucking get him. Alright, I'm bad, brother. Let's do it.